We have a problem we need to talk about. I'm close to Ace, which means I die more frequently and I lose more items. My storage value bounces between 3 and 5 million coin and I do the weekly missions every single time. I pick up the free items and purchase all I can in the Battle Pass store and also in the Rank store. And still, I do not see a decent growth. Why does it happen? The answer is simple, my boys. You have your own skill cap. You're gonna get up to expert, master, ace, or eventually legend, but let's put legend aside. I'm gonna reach ace this season for sure, but I think that's where my skill cap is, and I'm not going to be able to reach legend, at least not with this mindset, not with the way I play currently, with my current loadout, default loadout, which is T4, T4 armor, T4 helmet, a semi-decent gun, and T4 ammunition. Also, I play solo or with randoms, maybe if I would team up and play Play as a squad with communicating with others maybe maybe i could reach legend but sticking to what i have now mainly solo sometimes playing duos with my son sometimes with randoms i think i hit my skill cap i guess you all have that game in your head where you went in you did some nice kills one or two or even three and then by accident you get shot and you're dead you lost everything right you have that so that's gonna happen more often. The higher you are, the more frequently you're gonna die in the game. And if you die, you obviously cannot extract and you're gonna lose your stuff. And that means less coin, right? And you're gonna repeat that until you get broke, okay? That's the only ending that can happen, unless you are in the legend space. So that's the only tier where you can actually start piling up stuff and get to 10 million, 15 million, 50 million or 100 million coin. And I'm talking about players like Said, Trashy, Monarch or Zachfrax. Those players have a chance to go up until 100 million. But as a casual player, after you hit your skill cap, it's dead end. Now I guess you guys think that Shady, what are you doing? You are going to pull me off in my life and you're gonna get fully frustrated. And the question is how to resolve it. Well, you can't. This is the only ending as I said, but there are certain things you can do to minimize the risk of losing stuff. Actually two, I'm gonna highlight two this time. First one is that you shouldn't be playing with a loadout you are afraid to lose. Okay, it means that only equip items that you may lose in 5 or 10 minutes and be okay with that feeling. If you're not okay with that, then put it into your storage or sell it or whatever. Don't play with it. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose my gun and what if that happens? And you cannot play like that. If you are scared, then you're gonna do bad things. You're gonna do wrong timings. You are going to camp in a corner and just get shot and you're gonna lose that gun. So only play with equipment you are okay to lose. That's number one thing. Number two is to try to learn from every single game where you die. If you extract, there's not much to learn, but if you die, check the kill cam one or two times or even three times to understand what went wrong. Because if you died, then definitely you did something wrong and you need to acknowledge that you need to learn from that. Maybe your position was wrong, maybe the timing was bad, maybe instead of your gun you had your grenade in your hand, maybe you were healing or whatever, but you did something wrong, okay? Just, just live with that feeling. You need to accept that. If you always say that I was doing everything right, you're gonna never improve in the game. And this is a hardcore game. It's gonna punish you every single time. And even if you're just doing a very tiny mistake, then you're gonna get punished. So in the game I brought you today, guys, I was playing Mosin. I'm not that regular sniper type of guy, but I wanted to have a chill game, kind of just stay behind, like monitor the area, get some kills, loot some stuff and then extract. My team split up, two of them went to the north side of the map, to the loading area part, and one teammate was standing next to me in that house near to the villa. And 
things became scary after that teammate next to me just died. So I knew that there's somebody in the villa, but at the same time, I knew my teammates are fighting near the loading area. So I guess there was one team or one person spawning near the villa and there was another team spawning near the loading area. I decided to join my team to fight that other squad instead of trying to fight that guy in the villa alone. So I picked up my teammates MPX because I thought it's gonna help me in close range combats. I was sneaking to that area and shortly after I got rushed. I, I guess I did some noise and I got rushed. Thanks to the MPX I could do that headshot and I had already two kills. And that's where I made a very very bad decision. I got severely injured and I started healing myself, but I knew that there's one more player around, at least one more. And I had the feeling that this guy must be hiding in that destroyed storage building where you can run up and then peek out of the window. I was actually scoping and looking at that area, but at the same time, there was another feeling inside that quickly, quickly, I need to heal myself up. And it took endlessly long. And after I finally healed myself, that's where I wanted to change location and I died. Always evaluate the danger guys. After doing a kill and after revealing your position, don't just stay there. Just run away, change location or rush the enemy. Just do something. But don't do such a stupid mistake I did by staying there for at least a minute or longer and giving him a free kill.